So, you want to make a text gradient? Well, go ahead and give me your text a test so you can see how many tests you need to grade. Yeah. Hey guys, one by Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in GIMP, taking a look at how to make a text gradient. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started now. So I'm going to go grab my little text tool up here in the top left, and we're going to grab that little text icon. I'm just going to drag a box open, and we're just going to type gradient, because why not? Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and, actually I'm going to type text, to be honest with you, not, no, I'm going to type text. Uh, and then we're going to select all of that and then change this little number right here, which is the size to like 300 or something. Looks good. Hit this little corner so it for frame forms to the text. And I'm going to change my font by going ahead and just hitting this and then just scrolling to find a different font. Um, I can't remember any good fonts right now because um, I got a lot of Noto fonts in here that I got to scroll by. I haven't installed too many fonts um, recently. I don't have many fonts in my system right now. Um, but we're just going to pick the this font. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to pick that. And then I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. 600, 900, let's do 900, 800. Yeah, that's good. So we'll do 800. And what we're going to do is there's a very easy, easy way to do this. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to right click uh, the, the layers over here and hit new layer. So we add a new layer above the text layer. But then I'm going to go ahead and right click uh, again and add a new layer group. And then I'm going to drag the text and the new layer that we've created into this text group. Now we have a group, um, and if we grab the group, we can move both the layer and the text. Now you're not seeing anything move because you know there's nothing in the layer, but it's moving with with the text. Just trust me. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is the way I like to do it is I like to screen it over top of black lettering, so I can always change the color later on. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pick two different colors. So I'm going to grab this black color. Uh, and then I'm going to change this to like, let's do like a sunset kind of thing. Let's do like this color and then we'll hit this little flip to grab the white color and then we'll do like a yellow. So let me, let me select that. Let me eye drop that color we made and then I'll just pull it like this way. Make that nice little, nice little yellow. Really good. So now we can go to the gradient tool and if we click here and then just uh, hold down control, we can snap to angles and then we can just drag straight down i'm actually going to go a little bit a little bit further down uh and then i'm going to release now you can see we can actually move these around independently so i'm going to pull this one up a little bit more and then hit enter to confirm that now you can see we have a nice little sunset but it's not really doing anything you can't see the the text it's kind of just all over the place so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this out of the um group layer group just to demonstrate something so i'm going to put the 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 color layer that we just created the gradient um, put the mode on screen so now you can see it is now screened on the text this is what the text looks like now because the text is black if the text was like a color so if i was for instance to to make this color like red like if i was to make the actual text color red right here um and then we screen something over it, it would not it would be the the colors the gradient plus the color that the text is so don't do that like try and make it a, a black color try to make it black so it's gonna it's gonna override what color that you're trying to put the gradient on, um, if it makes sense. So now you can see this is looking good because the background is transparent. But let's say you have other layers behind your text and your gradient. Let's say you have other layers. Let's go ahead and put some kind of thing back on the background layer. So let me just I'm just going to draw in a nice little, a very professional, very professional circle. Looks great. Um, and now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to I'm actually going to make this in a different color. Make this in blue so you can see easier. I'm going to make a very professional circle. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Better than any circle you've ever seen. Uh, now, if we go ahead and uh, put our text back on, you can see we can see that back behind there. But if I turn my gradient on, you can see it actually displays the gradient and screens it over top of the blue circle, the very professional blue circle, um, and not just the text. I want this to only be on the text. So we can fix that by, like I said, making sure we have that layer group and then dragging both of our uh, objects, our text layer and our gradient layer into that group. Now you can see that the blue is unfazed and we still have that nice gradient. So this is a very easy way to do this. I've made a similar tutorial to this before, but I really want to do this in specific because this is very useful for so many different things. Like let's say I was trying to shade this, um, this text. So let's say I want to do like some kind of shading or something, you know, I want to just come up here like this. So I'm going to add a new layer, hit okay. 
I'm gonna get rid of that very professional blue circle. Uh, go back to this layer. Now we have that secondary layer. We can name these. Of course, you can name this gradient. I'm in capitals. I don't know why. And we can name this highlight. Highlighty. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. No, that's oh nod. Highlighty oh nod. Hold on. Highlighty oh nos. There we go. Um, now, if you want to do this nice little highlight thing, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm with my brush, a soft brush, like around a hundred. I'm just going to drag, uh, click once there, and then just hold shift down. Hold, I'm sorry, hit, hold shift and control. So hold shift and control both. Uh, and then we're going to click right there, and then click this way, unhold control, and then click down there. So it has this nice little, you know, thing like that. But as you can see, I can see it on more than just the text. It, it's like bleeding into the, the transparent part. We can fix this by going ahead and putting the mode to overlay, and now it, it is only visible on the text, the same exact way the gradient was. So you can see we have this nice little ability to do overlays here. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of do something kind of shifty here, um, kind of sneaky, 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 kind of cool. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Um, I'm going to grab the lasso tool. I'm going to click once right there and then hold down uh, control and click once right there. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab this whole bottom piece of the T, hit enter. Um, this kind of is outside the scope of what I'm trying to do, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, grab the paintbrush and then click once there and then hold down shift and click once about there. And now you can see we have that nice little um, highlight there as well. So this is kind of uh, very useful because without this layer group, if everything was just outside, um, it would look like uh, it would look like this. And if we had a background, it would look like let's say we have a color back here, maybe a nice like grayish blue. Fill that in. Uh, you can see this is what it would look like if we didn't have it in the group. But if we put it all back in the group, you can see it will look like this, which is so much better, obviously. So that is pretty much it for gradients and overlays and inside of layer groups. Very, very useful. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this text, actually. It looks really good. But uh, but yeah, that is obviously much better than, uh, than, than that. I mean, obviously. So I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. That's going to be it for today's very simple but very useful quality of life tutorial. <laughs> I will uh, see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.